What's up guys? It's Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We are back with another vending collection video. Today we're at our barbershop location. And guys, you know our barbershop location is one of our very, very, very favorite locations. Uh, so take a look in the machine, guys. I see some things that are sold out. The Takis are gone. The barbecue chips are sold out. Uh, Cheez-Its are sold out. There's all kinds of stuff that's low as well, like, like those famous Amos cookies. Yeah, it's going to be a good collection this time, guys. So make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video. All right, so kicking it off, I'm trying something new with my inventory this time around. And basically, instead of bringing boxes and boxes of inventory, I brought two big bags full of inventory um, of what I think the machine's going to need. And I think I did a pretty good job this time around because I, I was able to stock the machine up fully and get everything taken care of without having to bring all the different big boxes from my inventory rack from, from the shop. So we got that taken care of and we're just going to go ahead and start pulling things out of the bag. And luckily, Mrs. Galaxy Games 843 is here with me and she is always so good at keeping things organized. Um, she even brought a third bag, which I think a, a, a commenter had commented earlier in one of our previous videos about bringing a third bag or a separate bag to put your discarded stuff into so that way you're not having to search through that, through that again when you're searching for different products. So it worked out pretty well guys and you're going to see how much more efficient we are on this trip. So there we go. So we got the cheese doodle stock up. We're going for those barbecue chips next. And I think we're going to do some things like salt and vinegar or not salt and vinegar, sour cream and onion, some originals, some Takis, things like that. So guys, how are things going for you? I hope you're having a great weekend. I know I'm having a great weekend so far. I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our videos. Again, we are Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. We do vending and sometimes we do arcade videos, mainly vending. Um, yeah, so if you haven't done so yet, guys, Take a moment to go ahead and subscribe to the video and click that like button to give us the thumbs up. We really would appreciate your support and help to grow the channel. And by giving a, a, us a like then and a thumbs up, it, it pushes our video out to the YouTube algorithm and helps us get more viewers. So comment down below things you'd like to see. And also don't forget to give us that thumbs up and like the video. All right, guys, we're doing Takis right now. And we do actually Takis. We do two rows of Takis in this machine um, because the Takis are very popular at this location. If you're not doing Takis at your location, try them out, guys. Um, they, are, they are a spicy snack, and they're really, really tasty. So try them out. All right. So you'll notice to the left, too, we have that column to the left that is empty. And we leave it empty on purpose because the motor in that, in that row um, does not work correctly. And we were having to do so many refunds out of that, out of that coil or that, that row that we just decided we're no longer going to put stuff in that product or product in that, in, that, in that row. Now, one of the reasons why we haven't fixed that or upgraded that motor is because we're really looking to upgrade the entire machine. What we want to do is we want something at this location that's going to, um, first of all, have more capacity, but at the same time, possibly do drinks. So I know um, when it comes to combo machines, they don't always have as much capacity from a snack standpoint, but they do offer drinks as well. And this location is, like I said, it's one of our one of our favorite locations. We want to make sure that they have everything they need. And I know this machine is a bit older. It doesn't have credit card readers on it, things like that. So those are all the things I want to upgrade in this machine. So right now we're looking for a new machine to upgrade in this location. And I would really honestly like to do a combo machine. The only thing I, I'm concerned with is the amount of snack capacity a combo machine has. So I'm, I'm, shop, I'm shopping around, I'm looking for something that's going to be good. Um, but again, we definitely want a credit card reader. And the main reason why we want a credit card reader is for inventory tracking purposes. So like I was saying at the beginning of the video, I never know what to bring to this location. So I always just have to pack a bunch of stuff and hope that I have enough of the right things. And you'll see how we did a pretty good job of that. But I hate the guesswork. And that's one thing I love about our brewery lo location is I always know exactly what to bring. So I want to be able to have that option here as well. Yeah. All right. So we're getting those chips stocked up. We got just about everything stocked up chips wise. Now I think it's time to move on to the sweet snacks. So as you can see, Famous Amos only has one left. So we got to stock up a bunch of those. And let's see, are we going to do those next? Or are we going to do the mini cookies next? Because we do um, mini cookies next to those two. It looks like we're not doing the Famous Amos yet. That was one thing, like when, when I do pack these bags of snacks, I don't know what order to pack them in. So I just kind of randomly pack them as I go. So starting off, we're gonna throw some crackers in there. We've got a couple of Nutty Buddies. Th I, those didn't do as well as I thought they would. I thought we'd sell quite a bit of those because um, I think we're only doing it for 75 cents and we only sold two. But you know, we'll keep an eye on that. Trail Mix did pretty well. Here we go, let's go ahead and stock up the Trail Mix. 
So while we're talking of this kind of stuff, guys, I want to remind you, um, we did start a Patreon. So if you're interested in, in supporting the channel via our Patreon accounts, you can find that down in the description. As that grows, there's going to be some perks there for Patreon members. Um, we'll do Patreon only live streams as that grows. We'll do a couple different things like that where we'll, we'll have one-on-one -on -one Q and A time and possibly even open a Patreon or members only Discord. Some of the things we're looking at to help with the benefits of being a Patreon member. So if you haven't done so yet and you're interested in supporting the channel, that would be a great way to do so. But again, the best way to support us right now is to make sure you're subscribed and to give us a thumbs up to like our videos. All right, what are we doing next? I think it's time to work on the Snickers. So we got the Oreo stocked up. Let's go and work on those Snickers bars. And Snickers bars do awesome, really, at all of our locations. Uh, you know, at our, our break and alignment shop, Snickers is one of our top sellers there. They do great here. They did good at the Diesel Garage, which we need to get back to the Diesel Garage pretty soon. It's been almost a month. Um, but again, that location is still in lockdown, so we're not in a super big hurry to get back to that location. But we will. We'll, we'll be back there soon. I know everyone wants to see how things are going there. All right. Snickers stocked up. That row, that whole tray seems to be pretty good to go. Let's move up to this row, and it looks like Skittles did pretty well. Starburst did pretty well. Although we didn't stock Starburst up all the way the last time we were here, because it's got that, that strange coil where it goes left to right, left to right, left to right. All right, got the crunch bar stocked up. I think we need like one bag of M&Ms. M&Ms didn't do so hot this time around, but Skittles did great. And Skittles are a really good product here. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of them that are sold. And you're gonna see just how much money is in this, in this, in this machine when we do our collection. But here we go. We're gonna stock up some more of the Starburst. And like I said, Starburst are in that, that weird column which it's got that spine down the middle. So we have to go left and right, left and right in order to get those to work properly. So that's what we're doing. We're just kind of adding those in. We're not going to stock them all the way up. I think I added like 12 or 13 Starburst to that row. And then I know we need to do Rice Krispie Treats and Skittles. There we go. Getting those Skittles in there. All right. So guys, how are things going for you? Are you seeing your sales start to increase? As you know, in our, one of our previous videos, we talked about the weather getting warmer and sales starting to increase and people coming out of lockdown and restrictions being lifted and things like that. So how, how are your sales, guys? Are you seeing sales increase currently? I know I certainly am, so I hope you are as well. And if you haven't even started the, your vending business yet, but you're here and you're looking for information, welcome to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube, guys. We're constantly looking to share info and help everyone grow their vending business and just all around, you know, get that side hustle going. Or if you want to make this your full-time thing, uh, we're working on putting together more tips to help everybody out. All right, what are we do? What are we doing next? Cookies. So we've got we've got the mini cookies on the left, which we do uh, mini Oreos, mini Chips Ahoy, and we do um, the mini Nutter Butters. And then we in the middle row we do the famous Amos. Now we do the famous Amos at a dollar, and we do the mini chips at seventy five cents. But it just goes to show you, look, the famous Amos that are a more expensive price point outsell the mini cookies that are only seventy five cents. So pretty cool, guys. Because you know Famous Amos are very good. That's why they do so well. All right. Looks like we got just about everything stocked up. All right. Uh, and I think it's time to do our money collection. I'm just doing a quick overview to make sure everything looks good. Everything is stocked properly. Got a, oh, okay. got a couple more chips I'm going to throw back there. Because I only brought, I think, 10 or 11 or 12 Cheez-Its. And there was room for a couple more. So I just wanted a couple more things behind it. Just in case it did sell out. That way there was still a few more options. All right, let's do our collection. So starting off with the coins, and there's never a lot of coins at this location, guys. Just a few. Uh, I think there was maybe maybe a dollar, dollar fifty in coins. And then let's go do the cash. Now, this is where it's always good, guys. Look at how fat that stack is, guys. I love this location. Look at that. Such a nice, big, fat stack of cash. Feel like quick play in this part of the, of, of the video. Shout out to quick play, guys. All right, now that we got the collection done, let's go ahead and get this machine locked up. And then it's time to wrap this video up, guys. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Your support really helps us and we need your subscribes to help get us up to that next milestone of 1,900 subscribers. While you're down there, don't forget to give us a thumbs up to like the video and don't forget to share our video with your friends, your Facebook groups, all that good stuff, guys. We appreciate your support. All right, it's time to wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.